Hey, old Thunder King, what's going on? Welcome back to another Roblox Galaxy video. Yeah, I'm tired, but you know, I gotta get this late episode out of the way. I made a wonderful thumbnail. I'm working on the thumbnails. Yay. Right, so let's get the super capital spawned. We should have the Astra in here. All right, so here's the Astraeus. By far one of the more powerful super capital ships in the game. It's better fighting it from the range, from the distance, than up close. The trade-off in power, the trade-off in distance is greater power. You'll die faster fighting player versus player than sieging, that's the point. Or you're going to fall off the ship like I did. I don't know how things work around here. Alright, let's go. Welcome to it. Welcome to the Astraeus Bridge. Honestly, I love this interior. From the nice little hollow map. To the multiple computers processing multiple commands at once. To the nice little faction symbol to even the amazing little bridges to the nice displays on the bridge. I think the Astraeus feels like an at-home ship like the Enterprise from the Federation. The yeah, Enterprise from the Federation ships. Yeah, here's a railjack. I think of the Astra as a supercharged railjack. See? I'm at real gun. I'm thinking of Warframe. Heh. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna battle purple in just a quick second. Oh, hey. I didn't know Freon could become alien. Weird. Alright. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah. The Australia's is a powerful super capital ship made for siege. And it's a, it has a very... Detailed and quite large interior with a floor made with black hexagons. That 3D map in the middle and two giant control panels on each side of the Astraeus pilot seat. The Astraeus has 27,500 health, 17,500 shield power, 10,000 hull integrity. The maneuverability of the Astraeus is a little above average for a super capital ship. 25 top speed, acceleration of up to, I think, 11 meters per second, studs per second, and a turn speed of mm, maybe 0 0.05, I don't know. Right, let's warp it. There are no spinals with this uh, super capital for a loadout. Nine large turrets. Six heavy LR lasers, one super laser, two siege cannons. Charts have a max range of 8,000, apparently. Cargo hold of 2,500. And a, it costs you 2 million credits to build. Alright. Alright, so everything should be out of the way. Let's test, test out the ship's uh, combat power against our player. Alright. He's gonna warp in any second now, so let's prepare. Look at all the carnage. Heh, <laughs> different stars in the sky look like dust on my computer. Check it out. Uh, it's weird. It's like there's a nebula in front here. Oh no. 
Oh no, it's the Minecraft boys. It's the Minecraft boys when they achieve administration power. They're gonna invade my ship and take my diamonds. I gotta shoot them down. The second this guy comes in, we're gonna open fire. Oh crap. We better start diving fast. Just gonna need to dive just a little. You fool, you have fallen for my trap card. I anticipated that. Heh. <laughs> no, no it's not. I shall now warp towards you. Boom. Ooh, I, I've made a bad mistake too. What are the odds? You fool! I'm within your firing range. Oh my god! I forgot that I forgot that they had spirals. Man, it's been a long time. Shoot! Open fire. Gotta wait for him to stop firing those spinals. Oh ho ho, I'm now under you. We shall see who now has the superior firepower. Aw, you got a cute little cat near my desk. I'm sorry, fellas. <laughs> I, I like my cute little cat. <laughs> I'm directly under you. As you can tell, the only way you're going to be able to effectively... Come back here, little cat. Oh, you just made a not so good move, my friend. You are now within ramen range. It seems we may have hauled the ship already. All right, so getting back to the point. Getting back to my point. The only way you'll be able to effectively fire at your ship at the enemy ship is you have to stay above, or at least keep an angle of 45 degrees, basically. Keep them in sight. Dude, I'm still in firing range. Oh, you decided to play that move, huh? Man, this teach can do a nasty hit. Nasty, I say. It would be a shame if all siege cans fire, wouldn't you agree? Come on, little cat. Oh, here. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, I like my little cat. And she occasionally comes by my desk while I'm doing these little videos. Alright, game back to the video. You have to stay above the enemy. Actually, no, you gotta stay below the enemy. The enemy ship has to be above you in order to effectively fire the Astra. Otherwise, it's, uh... Well, you're just flying a city duck. I'm not sure what else you're supposed to be doing. The ship, I would say, is very good at sieging. More than player versus player, but I think in some cases you can take that disadvantage from the enemy and turn it back into a combat strength. Now I gotta slowly, carefully maneuver my ship. Ha! And that, my friends, is why you never challenge the Astra to a fight. That, my friends, is the Astro Ship Review. Honestly, I kind of like the Super Capital. It ain't the best, but I mean, hey, if it goes like that, you can easily win a, uh, you can somehow win a 1v1. Yeah, it's Spinal Wag? Good grief, that could have gotten worse. Alright, boys, I'm gonna go take over Freon now. The air company came by today, and I need more Freon! Come on! Heh <laughs> heh. Alright, I'm gonna go take over Freon. Charge! <laughs>